Hi guys. So I hope you're well. And uh, just a quick announcement that I upload this to YouTube. So for those of you on YouTube, I am recording this from a live Patreon webcast. And uh, if you'd like to join, just see the link below the video. And thanks everyone for joining me now. And thanks everybody who has been supporting me. I'm really thankful. And I'm really loving this process, guys. I really am. And it's uh, it's funny because um, I didn't I didn't have a a broadcast yesterday because the week before I had done one on Friday and I thought you know I was too tired. I think somebody had mentioned that I was a little bit the energy level was lower and I noticed too. So I feel like you know it's not it's not good to do it for, like all this um, four days a week in a row. But then I wasn't planning to do, I, I have this other broadcast now on Sundays for the weekly Q&A uh, patrons. But I thought, you know, there's just so much going on, guys. It's crazy. I cannot, it makes me feel so much better, okay, to, to, to do this because I have so many questions all the time. There's just too many questions. And I'm glad that we are here, okay, so we could talk about everything that's going on and figure out more stuff. So, so yeah, so that's that. So guys, of course, today the big news is, the big news is the government shutdown. Hello. And it's funny because I, I knew there was a lot of talk about this going, this was going to happen. And I didn't want to, I somehow was either, I was, I mean, I knew about it, but I was like, I don't want to do a reading about this because those kinds of readings, like, oh, is it going to happen? Yes or no. It's more like, let's see what happens, okay? So, so hello, here we are. It happened. So, exactly. Terry said, yeah, it's a new fresh hell every day. Exactly. So, it's interesting because, and I feel, guys, you know, if there's anything positive, and I know it sounds crazy to say that this is positive, is that we see the true faces of all of these people every day. Okay, this is a positive. Because I think, for example, the person, one of the people that I, I mean, they're all horrible people. Okay. But like that guy that I, that gets like a good press sometimes, John Kelly, he's such a, now it's become more and more clear that he's an extremely, extremely, uh, racist person. Okay. He's a whore. I'm sorry. I'm, I can just say it. He's a horrible person. And I feel like the more this happens, the more time passes, the more clear it becomes that this administration they're only, okay, I don't think it's controversial to say because they don't really seem to stand for anything else other than racism, okay? That's like, what What do they want? What do they want? Like, it's always these policies of of treating Im like immigrants terribly and uh, and basically creating these laws that benefit only them and really create chaos for, for average American people, okay? So that's it. So we understand that, that now we know that apparently John Kelly was the guy who who um, did not want a deal. He kept pushing for harsher treatment of you know, the, the, the DACA kids. Okay, so um, so that's that. Oh, and also uh, the other thing is that, um, so yeah, I feel like the whole thing, their, their dream, and I feel like I almost sense them. That guy, you know, he's very like angry. And he's very, he's like, his dream is to create a kind of like a Nazi state, okay? So it's like, oh, let's, you know, finally we can get started with the concentration camps or whatever they want. You know, so it's like they want, this is a big deal for them. They want this to happen. They want to, they want to shut the government down just so they can like start mistreating further, people further. Okay. So I feel like that's what they want. They're like, you're not going to give it to us. We're going to go, we're going to push it. We don't, they don't care about anybody. They don't care about the government. They care about their bullshit. And that's why they're doing this ultimately. Okay. Obviously. No compromise. Exactly. It's like they're not governing. They're destroying. That's what it looks like. What it looks like to me. Okay. So, so after this rant now, um, um, Natalie, um, she left a comment saying that I think she she does cards also. She said that she saw it lasting six weeks. The government shutdown, which seems like a long time, and that this would contribute to the ending. So I feel like. Um, we should have an in-depth look into this government shutdown, okay? 
to the end, Diane contributing to the ending of what? The ending of Trump's presidency. Okay. Um, so, okay. So guys, all right. So, so let's, let's think about, I want to do one of those sort of like, you know how I do like one reading, but with lots of separate questions. So I think we could ask what's, why are they shut? Why are they doing this? Like, why are they pushing for government shutdown? One, two, um, what's go, uh, two. Okay. And then how long is it going to last? Okay. What will be the consequences of the government shutdown? Okay. For Trump, for the Republicans, and then for the Democrats, because I feel like we should do like, okay, so a, here what like why why are they doing this okay and then b how long and then c what the consequences of the lockdown will be for trump for the republicans and then for the democrats and then what will be the final outcome of this okay so i feel like because it's i think it's kind of like a big i mean not kind of it's definitely a big deal okay and uh, it's it's like they're there from the beginning. And I remember reading this in the Fire and Fairy book that he said, Brandon Bannon said, we want we went in and we want to destroy. Like they want to like, you know, be everything by force, basically. So they are trying to go to do as much as they can. OK. And also you saw that Fox News was pushing like this Russian, basically like they're not even hiding that they're like Russian propaganda, basically. That's what they do. They are pushing like some hashtag that is like um, they created about FBI agents or something. You no, know, they they love to like talk shit about the FBI. And what that tells me is that this is something really big is coming because they're this desperate. Okay, they're this shameless. So, and I feel like this the government shutdown is another thing they're trying to do. They're trying to throw everything. You know those cartoons that like. People throw anything at the door to prevent the, the other person from like knocking in and coming in. They like throw everything in the house. That's what I feel like they're trying to do. They just try to throw everything they can to stop the investigation. So, um, so basically, <clears throat> so that's the question. Now, another question I wanted to ask, it's funny because I think like I did this um, last, a couple of readings ago, I think it was that I asked when Trump was gonna leave. And I had said before, other people reminded me that I had already said that he, he was gonna be around March. I want to now bring to each reading just, and I feel like in a way this is a little bit experimental, but I think it's interesting, it's very fast. It's finding out when, okay, like one small part of the reading, okay, just about when. And I feel like, for example, we can ask, one thing I really wanna know is when will Kushner be indicted? Like when, when will the indictments against it, whatever is going to come out? I feel like I want to know that. So as long as we understand that the timing thing is flexible, it's just an interesting exercise to see because um, we can look into things in terms of weeks, I think weeks or days. Okay. So in the case of, for example, the government shutdown, I think we can do, if it's six weeks, let's say that it's going to be the maximum of a hundred, let's say I'm going to do three cards and then we, I can count from there. From there, it's going to be based on days. Okay. So for example, the issue with Kushner, we could do weeks or like a month, no month. So it's like, it's going to be, yeah, I know. I know what I'm going to do about it. So anyway, so, so that's that. So let's get started with the, 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 the whole thing about, um, yeah, Terry. Oh my God. Terry says, poor Jared. I, I, I see tired treads on his back from being thrown under the bus. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Jared. He was he was a leader of the civil rights movement, right, guys? Jared Kushner. He really, from the beginning, he was a person who who dedicated his life to public service, who dedicated his life to serve, to protecting and speaking out for for the for the neediest. Okay, no, of course not. So I, I love my favorite part when I like make fun of Jared, Jared Kushner. So anyway, so um, so anyway, anyways, guys, go go. Let's let's. I'm gonna focus now on this government shutdown and everything behind it. Okay, what's going on? Okay, going. What's going on? What's going on with the government shutdown? Okay, what is what is going on with the government shutdown? Why 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 do they do this? Why what is going on with the government shutdown? 
why do they do this and how will this end for all of them okay for everybody involved okay for for what's what like how long is it going to take what's how is it how will it impact trump the republicans the democrats and ultimately this country what will be the outcome okay all right guys so so that's that <clears throat> just this one here So, okay, Jared, oh, sorry, government shutdown, government shutdown, tell us all about, we need to know what's going on, what's going on with this government shutdown, first question is why, then until when, then how will it impact all the parties involved, including it's this country, and what will be the ultimate outcome, thank you. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say, guys, I've already shuffled. I'm going to start the now, but before I forget, several, a couple, well, two or three people have reported to me that, um, that um, you're having problem problems logging into Patreon, and I'm preparing a report to send to them. So if you have a specific problem with logging, let me know, send me a message. And tell me if you are using mobile or desktop, okay? Because that's important for me to, when I tell them, okay, when I write to them. So um, anyway, so that's all. But I'm, I'm here pulling out the cards for why. Why are they doing this, okay? Okay, so this was a gift from President Trump. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Because you never give, he actually would never give a gift to anybody. He would ask you to send him something. Anyway, so the center we have here, the Empress, which could be the country, okay, abundance, and the house. So the government, the White House in abundance, okay, a place of abundance, wealth. And this is a card of incompetence. This card, I remember very well that it came for Betty DeVos and also for Trump. Like this is a card of changes, okay, when changes are happening. And upside down, it means when people can't handle changes, they're overwhelmed and they just can't get it together, okay. And we have Fox here. So it means, Fox here, I think, means um, basically that there's shady stuff behind the scenes and they, they're like, fuck, they like messed it all up. Not only there's stuff behind the scenes, but it's also it also could mean that the stuff going on behind the scenes is a means to derail. They're trying to do everything they can to derail something, to create like further chaos, okay? And then here we have the ship, obviously, foreign influence and upside. This is a card of moving away, moving on to something else. They don't want to. So it's like they don't want to move away for something else. They don't want to basically, I think, but I think moving on here, meaning having a like a normal try to work out an agreement of some sort. Right. So they they don't want to do that because of foreign influence. And so they decided this is a sudden thing, like, woo, like a sudden energy, burst of energy. And this is opposition. And I, I was reading yesterday, I was reading, rereading this book, this Lynn Norman book, because I feel like sometimes you, there's so many cards that have specific meanings. And sometimes you 
cling to a meaning of a card because you're more familiar with it or, or that's kind of like, you know, a comfort zone in a way. So it's good to refresh sometimes. And I was looking at this card, the mountain, and I, one thing that it said that I sometimes forget is that it's about opposition. Okay, and in, in the word they use was obstruction. So I feel like obviously Trump does obstruction of justice, right? So this is a card of obstruction. So what essentially this is like, suddenly they decide to obstruct, like because a mountain is a long-term problem, it's also an obstruction. And then we, I love putting these together because even when you look at all the cards, you don't get the meaning as strong as when they are all together, okay? So this is shady stuff behind the back, their, everyone's back um, through the, with the foreign power, like the shady foreign fox, basically the shady ways of the foreign power decided to create an obstruction. So they're like, let's create an obstruction. We need to obstruct, okay? Because that's really what this means. And then we have here the power of the, the White House, I've said before. And then you have here balance, the card of balance, which is something obviously we don't have. And the dotard. So dotard is in charge of balance. So we know how that ends, right? <laughs> obviously, it's not something he knows well. And this is a card of Wheel of Fortune upside down, which means um, bad, like bad turn of luck. But I think also in the context, a lot of the readings related to the Trump administration, I think it means that we, it's like they create these things. They want to turn things upside down. They want to create bad fortune. It's, a, it's very sad. It's very, very sad, guys, obviously, for all of us to read this. But that's really... We're not surprised. Like they work against the American people, basically. Unfortunately, that's 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 facts. Okay, let's just say tell it like it is, exactly. But I think Lucien is saying they want to create distraction. I think it's more than distraction. Distraction. It's like they're creating real destruction at this point. It's distraction is an illusion, right? But when you shut the government, when you prevent some people, like like military. Uh, widows from getting paid and 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 people like that from get like that's destruction okay that's not and i think because that's their goal and people ask why because they want they want to destroy the government they're like for like that's what they want to do they don't want like there's this think about hitler but it, you know in a way i'm I, I can't believe i would ever it's not i'm defending hitler but basically like at least i feel like hitler at least he was not selling his country to other people like oh, with all the horrible things like in this case i think they are okay they just want they want chaos and bannon you know bannon i really obviously don't like bannon at all at all but i think bannon is he was very clear from the beginning he's like we want to just to take the whole thing upside down did he say i forgot how he phrased it but it was something like to burn the whole thing upside down something like that okay so basically here it's interesting that the the dotard in the white house wants to turn bad luck the bad wants to create bad bad things in the public to turn the luck upside down for the public he wants to create negative events in the public and actually now that i'm reading this guys you, i've i think i saw it yesterday that trump said something like uh he said something like a war would oh a terrorist attack would be a great thing for my re-election that's all we need is a terrorist attack. I literally said that. Okay, he wants like bad, you know, sort of like how, what what happened with the Nazis. They but the Nazis created a fake thing. Okay, but here they want something almost like they want to provoke a, an env environment of fear. Okay, so so that's that. Okay, all right. So and then in the future or like more information, we have uh, either creating poverty because upside down. Up like this, it's like a real poverty or a hard, hardship or like feeling alone. And like this is like either that you want to get away from it or that you want to create it. Okay. So they are, they want to create, I feel like this is a gift for poverty or like they want to create something that 
is going to cause poverty or cause troubles, okay? And this is, a, yeah, this is upside down money. So money, shady money, literally like you have the cloud and shady money. Okay, so they want to hide some things related to money. Oh, guys, and so this card is the last. I'll show you the whole thing together because it's very interesting. So this is a card like this is heartbreak. But I've said before, it's when it comes like this, it means it can mean blackmail. Okay, so it means external stress and also blackmail. And what do we have here? Guilt. So, okay, so this tells us a lot. So a car, the bouquet is also an invitation. So I feel like they want a, an event or an invitation to cloud their shady shenanigans related to money through guilt or because they're guilty. So because they're guilty and they, I think they know that the clock is ticking, okay? Okay, so that's that's the other part. Now let's look at the whole thing together because it's it's relevant. So again, the gift of lack of clarity, right? They want to create shade, like literally smoke and mirrors to hide their guilt. So here we have shady stuff related to the foreign government. They want to create an obstruction. The, the shady moves of the foreign government are done as a means to create obstruction. Okay. And here we have the man in the White House who wants to create some sort of misfortune for the public or for society. Okay. And so, and here we see the Fox, meaning the backroom dealings of the, the older man of Dotard. So Trump has like backdoor dealings. And the foreign influence in the White House. and obstruction in the public eye. So then putting the, the last column here, we have Shady Dotard creates a, like Dotard's backroom dealings create a gift, meaning I think a distraction, right? So in a way, a gift is a distraction, right? It's like, oh, look, it's like, oh, look, it's a flower. How pretty, ha, 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 okay? The Russian influence in the White House wants to create another form of distraction, like right? smoke and mirrors, okay? And then see here, the very bottom, we have Keep looking at close. We have obstruction to the public eye, in the public eye, to hide their guilt. So it all becomes very clear. So they are doing everything they can to distract, to distract and to, to distract their shady dealings from becoming known and to create obstruction, like literally in the public eye, to hide their guilt. That's why. I think that answers the question well. Now let's ask, let me ask a question. Let me th leave the when question for later because I don't want, I want to do a more look, look into everything else. So, so what are the consequences for, what are the consequences of this government shutdown to A, Trump. You know, I think I think they make a deal for DACA guys. Because I think here this is a card of, of money, but it's also a card of regularity and somebody working very 
sort of like a stubborn person working diligently, okay? And here we have the loyalist card. Now, when it it's next to Trump, a lot of times I see it as like a loyalist, but Trump is not here, okay? Right below it, we have the lovers upside down, so there's harmony and the letter. And I think here it could be an agreement or the actual law, okay? And we have here another money card, simple like money card and a deal. Okay, we have a deal here. And we have a lot of disagreement and infighting and factions, but we have child on top. So, because the dreamers, the children, right? I'll show you here, okay, why? I'll show you why. Everything. I think I can put all these together in one place. So we have the loyalists have a letter, not the loyalists, the, the good people, because like I said, here, I think alone, the dog means good people. Okay, it depends on, I don't think it's the wall, Patty Joe, I think the wall is just a joke, not a joke, but it's like, I don't think it's a fight. I think it's just, this is, the, the wall, I feel like in terms of cards, especially the Normans, you have to look at what's in front of you. And we have a child, we have a deal, and we have money. So I feel like it's something related to the budget, and it's the children. So, okay, so one second here. Okay, so here we have the loyal people, the, the trustworthy people, it, through a letter. So they offer a letter. They have, a, a like, a document, okay? And this document, it creates disagreements. It's not a happy document, but they work very diligently. We have that diligent card here. And they get a letter in, okay. And on the other side here, the you have another kind of diligent, also small money card. We have a deal, okay. We have a the good people make a deal, offer a deal, and all another card of factions and disagreements, a deal about the children, okay. Child. So what I think this means, because the question was like, what is the consequence of the government shutdown to Trump? That we have to always think of the question. So the question here really is, what does Trump do or what happens to Trump? Is that he? I think he signs, he has to sign this agreement. He ultimately, I believe, signs the agreement. Because a lot of, I've said this in my, some of my earlier readings, that the Lenormand, that sometimes you ask the question, yes or no, and it never really gives you a yes or no answer. It just tells the story. And that's, I think, what it's doing here very clearly. It's saying the good people have a doc, or sh show a document, offer a document. The good people make a deal about the children. The children have a document. Do oh, wow, look, documented children, right? Document for children. So, so I feel like this, to me, is very clear. It says that he will likely sign i feel like if if it wasn't if he wasn't going to sign that it would tell it would tell me exactly that or something like i can't is is a kind of thing that i i always say this thing that like oh it's just a story but i feel like i have to be pretty in a way obviously it's related to intuition but i think ultimately it's related to the story and what i have to always focus on what is in front of me and this is what is in front of me Good people bring a, a, like a document or a letter or a law, and the good people offer a deal to the children, and there is a, a document for the children. There is a law for the children, even though in the background there is a lot of disharmony and a lot of infighting and a lot of factions. Okay, so that that answers the question of what will be the consequences for Trump. Okay, so so the next thing is. What are the consequences for the Republicans? Oh my God, look, I'm so, oh my God, I'm, I'm so sad. Oh my God, things are falling apart for them. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. They're so great, the Republicans. Defeated. Oh, oh my God, can I help? Oh my God. Okay, and then happy country. And then, um. Uh, so let me see the Lenormans here. Okay. 
Okay, Lucien asked, will things fall apart? Lucien, I've already answered that, that question many times. I think, yes, okay, there's many ways. But I think let's focus on this question and what this question brings up. Because I think this whole process, no, that's okay. This whole process, what it shows, like the process of doing all these readings, right? Exactly, Terry's like, snip off, <laughs> right? So the process of doing all these readings, what you learn is almost like, you know, like I, I've said this before, I watch the crime shows and they always are like, they're looking into one thing and then they find another. That's kind of how it is. It's like, it tells us a story and we put together everything about the story, right? Money for, yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. Okay. So, so I feel like um, what happens is, is that we kind of put the story together like a quilt, like little by little, but it's not the, it's not one part, but it's like slowly we put all the parts together. Okay. So anyway, so we have the tower, things falling apart and positive changes, a change of some sort and talk about positive changes. And these conversations, these meetings lead to their, they're defeated. Okay. I think because things fall apart and they're defeated. That's, that's clear here. Yeah, so, so we have, on the, on the Lenormand side, we have what actually happens. So meetings about moving along, about basically progressing to something else, okay? And, and it's almost like in the background, they're falling apart and they're feeling defeated. And here we have a happy country or like maybe the country is happier or something like that. And there's a snake. So... Those snakes, they're never happy, right? They're always like betraying whoever. And upside down here, we have this harmony in relationships and a sun. So I think what this means is that things are become, in the readings about the Trump presidency, I think the sun, I always use it as like a light, like bringing something into light. So I think what it means is that the snake come to light, meaning, meaning we understand more and more about the snakes and the disharmony they create, okay? So everything is becoming more clear in terms of like what they do. I feel like you could also say a happy snake, but I don't think that's it. I think it's like a snake offers clarity, but I think it's ultimately cl clarity about the snake. We see what they're all about, okay? And uh, here we have moving on from snakes or the snakes could be the snakes moving on no, but i think moving on from what from snakes and conversations and meetings come to light so i feel like if they're doing some sort of weird shady blackmail or whatever it is that they're doing everything be, is becoming more and more clear because the sun is there so the sun shows us what's really going on. Okay, if we can see here, again, moving up, like they're feeling defeated, they're feeling like everything is falling apart. Um, and then those, maybe it could also be that those happy snakes, or like that we are seeing, that we're happy to see the snakes, and that there's harmony they create. We see it more and more, it becomes more and more clear. They're having a hard time hiding it, okay? So this was a consequence for the Republicans. Now, the consequences for the Democrats. So we have, this is a card of rational and uh, rational thinking and uh, law so i feel like this is a key or a solution or yeah it's a solution card of solution a key rational solution and this is a, also a card of like spiritual spiritual truth or like isolate like going inwards in isolation and ending okay in a scythe And I feel like, okay, oh, 
hold this for a second. This is moving away. Okay, a person leaving and the boss, boss leaving. Yes, exactly. Terry said for real sees, but like a poor stubborn piece of trash, they just won't go down. Okay. So, and then at the very end here, we have um, a kind of like a show of force because here we have aggression. So what I think this does, this tells us, and it's also, I mean, I, and tell me please if I'm wrong, I don't think it means that the, the, the um, Democrats will be cut. It means that they will cut. So I feel like this is what I get from this, this here, and I'll put all of these together, okay? So this is a rational answer, rational, yeah, answer of prayers and getting what they want. They are stubbornly, and it also could be here, the army could mean that they're quietly, very quietly in the background, plotting for the removal or the cut of you know who. And here, and now this is, I think, significant, okay? Because this is somebody leaving, and on top of it, we have the boss. So I almost think like this may trigger Trump to leave. May Trump, Trump okay, I don't know. We'll see. But here we have the bear, aggressive boss, aggressive boss, okay? So the boss is, may want to leave, and he's going, it's like, imagine cor cornering a bear. Okay, that's a pretty dangerous situation, right? The bear is going to probably try to kill you, try to do whatever he can to get rid of you. Okay. Now, together here, we have an answer or solution to the ending. Sudden solution. Because the, the scythe also means something out of nowhere, something happening quickly. Okay. So this means solution to the boss, painful solution to the boss. So here together, let's see here, we have solution about the boss, painful removal, and the boss leaving in the background. So I feel like here, I don't believe this has anything to do with the leadership of the Democratic Party or anything. I think that it's like, because here you have the, the law and you have the legal stuff. I just feel like, you know what, they're plotting, they're using this as a means to remove Trump. And Trump, my feeling is that aggressive removal, it's like he gets tired at some point. He knows that the, the game is up, okay? Because I feel like that, and guys, you have to also say that, of course, I am anti-Trump, obviously, like at most people, so, so, so I feel like it could be like, it could also say, oh, look, it's like the key to their, like, I don't think it's, they're going to be removed. I mean, it would be so weird, but I feel like here is just like aggressive fight with the boss, with the, you know, with the, the, I would think Trump. And then here the boss is leaving because you have to remember guys that the Democrats, no matter how, and I feel like. I've said this before, I was not, I used to not follow politics at all that much, very, the very basic. So there's a lot of people that I didn't, didn't even know about. So when you look at uh, Pelosi and Schumer, these people are very skilled politicians. Like they actually do the job of politicians, like following through and getting laws done and those kinds of things. And I think that this is how they're gonna get him tired because he hates work. Like he hates, he hates working, period. He just likes to talk. And then the process, legislative process is very exhausting. Like it's very, this is also a card of repetition. So it's very repetitive. Okay. And I think they're, I, you know what? I feel like they're going to use this as a means to gain time or like to, to get further power to remove him. And I don't think that in here, it's interesting because you have the guy re being leaving. Okay. So, so I feel like ultimately all, like his aggression is going to come to, like he's going to get tired. And this is key to him leaving, to being, re being removed. I'm sorry, leaving. It's like, it's interesting because here they have the answer to his removal, but then he leaves on his own. Okay. He ultimately, the, the eight of cups is a card of a person leaving something behind on their own. Okay. So it's not a card of somebody being removed. So 
So it's interesting that this would corroborate a lot of people, like a lot of readers have said also that he, Lee, I know Kristen Langston said it, and I, I think also um, Tracy Brown, they said like he leaves under his own volition. I think it's possible because here you have, you have a, uh, you have this, okay? So Patty Joe saying he's going to fake and Well, regardless, means that he's going to leave somehow, okay? I, we see him leaving here. So so that ends the consequence for Trump, okay? I think we went, well, not Trump, I'm sorry, to the Democrats. So I feel like they set the stage for removing Trump and somehow I feel like the Democrats win because you have, this is a card of wish granted. So they get what they want and who ends up leaving ultimately is either as a result of this or, or as a consequence of whatever happens here, okay? The la so the other part I wanted to ask, which even, you know, in a way it's a little bit, makes me a little bit nervous, but I think why not ask, is what's, what is the consequence for the country? Why, what do you mean? Ter well, Terry asks, why is Yang Yong? Well, because he's corrupt. And they want to create a, an oligarchy. They want to change the world. Like, it's very serious. Like what they want to do is like money. He's hanging on because it's an opportunity for them to make billions potentially. Okay. And I feel like it's also because they're being investigated and they know that the only way they can avoid investigation is if they shut it down. And the, like the most Nobody could even be more powerful than a president, right? So, so this is the only way he could do something about like his own, like years, people have been investigating him for years. Okay, him and Kushner, Kushner also like, right? He's like, he needs the money for his buildings or whatever. Okay. Okay, so this is interesting, guys. This reading is quite interesting. I feel like it it, does, it gives a lot of information. So I asked the question, even though I'm always like, I'm kind of scared of what it's going to say, but I asked what's the consequence for the American people or the country, okay? This is a reputation in the world, okay? And also, you know what? This is also a card of emotions. So it could also mean, in some ways, the zeitgeist or the feeling of the country. And this is underneath it. So this is a, like, this is a card of like, wait, you're, everything is, is like, you have to wait and see what happens. But like this, it means entanglements. I see it as entanglements. So I feel like people are saying, they're feeling like we are entangled in this mess, which is absolutely true, right? And this is a card of news. This is a card of like a messenger, some, somebody coming in like this. A lot of times it's an offer, like a romantic offer, but I think here's probably some sort of messenger news or something and what is it corruption so news of corruption we this is a card of strength but like this is a weak weak position the government so the government is in a weak position weak in government and this is a card of the past children okay in the past nostalgia an ending so the last thing is an ending so i feel like what it says very literally actually is that people want things like they used to be they want an ending to this clearly right i mean this is very obvious very clear and we have here the reputation Americans see this feel entangled in this in the news of the increasing corruption in the government. The rep the rep the government looks weak, and I think this means the Trump administration looks weak. We're entangled in the weakness of the Trump administration, and the administration comes to an end. So the corruption comes to an end and the administration comes to an end, hopefully, because the question was, yeah, the question was here, what are the consequences for the American people? What are the consequences for the country? 
So it means the reputation. You know what I feel like? This is like the reputation. We feel entangled. The reputation of the country becomes one of total corruption. Um, the reputation of the government is becomes of weak ends up being one of weakness, and the government, meaning Trump's government, comes to an end. And people, because this is also whenever you have cups, it means emotion. So people want to put an end to this, and there's an end to corruption and an end to Trump's administration. So that's, you know, I think that that's great. We hope that it happens. But I feel like what ends up happening, guys, and this is almost like I'm getting this. I'm getting like, you know, like when you, like a momentum, a sense of momentum here where people, the whole country becomes united in the feeling of like, we're done with this bullshit. Stop this bullshit. Okay, because like the corruption and the weakening of the government is really terrible because, right, you have loss, you have, the mice is also a card of stress. So the corruption also means like it creates enormous stress for us, our citizens in the country. Okay. And it also creates a reputation of corruption. So I feel like people want things to end to be so that the country could be, go back to what it used to be. Okay. So I think this wraps up the question about what the consequences are for the country. And then Let's see, do you have any more questions related to, to this shutdown? I think, let's see what happens at the very end of it. What else? Well, I don't know. I feel like, I think we got the answer. There's nothing really significant to say more. I feel like it, it, everything, the, we already got the answer of what happens. Like okay, he's probably gonna walk away and there's gonna be an end to the administration. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna ask for two questions, and I'm thinking, guys, do you want? I'm trying to think here. Do you want weeks? Should we ask weeks or days? Weeks or days? I'm thinking. Okay, let's see. How long will the shut government shutdown last? Okay, how long will the government shutdown last? Huh. Interesting. This is one. So this is a card. I, I pulled out one. So it would be one week. I don't think it's going to be a week. And then I put out. See, this is why I don't like. I feel like. So this is one. This is 28. So 29 days it would be. Somebody said six weeks, right? So I don't think it's going to be a week. And I don't think it's going to be 29 weeks. Um. So. Trying to think here. Yeah, I don't, I hate like, this is why I feel like it's kind of, kind of hard to tell. So, so I feel like, yeah, I mean, I feel like 20, like a month or something like that. Okay. Maybe it's like 29 business days or something like that. I don't know. I feel like probably like a month. Let's just say a month. I think roughly, I really don't believe it's a week. It could be one if it's a week, but I think if we put together the 28 and the one, I think it's like, 29. Okay, is that right? Yeah, 28, 29. So I would I would think probably 20. Oh, interesting. Patty Joe said 29 days would put us about March. Yeah, so I feel like it's gonna be in 20 28 days. Okay. I mean, yeah, 29. I'm sorry, 29 days. Okay. So so that's that. Okay, guys. So so that's it. All right. Okay, so that was intense. Yeah. You know what question that would be really be, be useful to ask that would give us information about timing? I think it would be a question about what happens to the Mueller investigation while the government sh is shutting down, while this is happening. Because if it says like, he ends it, he concludes it, he whatever, indicts people or something like that. I think we would have an interesting parallel, okay, to everything. Like, what would, you know what I mean? So, so let me on, you know, I'm going to take the cards. I'm going to start on doing and reshuffling. And then we can start talking. Let's talk about the other things. So we have, so it's 50 minutes. We have probably like another 50 minutes or something like that, okay? 
a little bit less. But let's think about the other things you want to know about until for tonight, okay? Yes, exactly. I think an investigation continues, but I think, do you guys want me, because I, I was thinking that, like, I, I wanted, what would be, I think what an interesting question, like I said, would be, what happens to the investigation while the government is shut down? And what happens, where will the investigation be once the government shuts down? Okay. I mean, after. Because, uh, because I think this would give us, yeah, I think so. I feel like this would give us um, a good idea because, you know, if we think about it, as we all know, the, the Republicans will do zero to, to find out more about Trump, okay? They, they don't care. They don't want to, because Trump is their problem in the sense that they are also corrupt. So they want to avoid, they want to push this away as far as possible, okay? A. And then B, like we know we, we can't count on them. So the only thing that's going to remove Trump is also, is a public, I really do believe that the public answer, like the fact that, the fact that he sees that everybody hates him, I think it affects him in some way because he likes to be popular. So he hates this, I think. So, so that's one thing. And then, and then I think essentially the investigation is really what's going to end him. Okay. That's okay. Patricia's here. Hi, Patricia. Good to see you. Um, so, so anyway, so, um, yeah, Patricia, so yeah, good things are going to happen, you know, uh, as a result of this, this government shutdown, good things for us. So, uh, I was going to say, so anyway, so guys going back to the question, uh, here we want to, we want to think about what happens to the investigation. I'm got distracted. So yeah, what happens to the investigation while the government is being shut down? And then there's a question about Nikki Haley. I mean, just before, like, you know, kind of, it's kind of like, I feel like every one of those long readings that I do, there should be a kind of like a gossip section where it's like light, like lights, silly thing. Okay. Because it's like, um, it's nice to break the, you know, break the ice. Okay. Okay. So guys, okay, I'm going to ask a quick question here just for fun. Like I said, I want to do this every reading. Just I mean like and and it's not meant to be super like serious, okay? It's just I want to know as you know my obsession with Jared Kushner, which is um which is when will Jared Kushner's indictment come out? When will like I want to know just do to pull out two cards guys to see and and I don't know if it's going to be correct or whatever, but I just want to know start practicing this thing about timing it's the hardest and it's the the least reliable so that's why i say don't listen to this too much but at the same time it's also good it's helpful it's it brings me hope and it's a good way to like sort of train for it okay so so let's do let's do i'm trying to think let's do the two card method i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna do i don't know if it's like the well okay, let's do the two cards and see I don't know, Patty Joe, Melania Santa. I feel like, you know, Melania, I'm sorry, but she's spending taxpayers' money. Like, we're paying for her shit in a way or another. So I don't, I really don't care about her so much. I mean, it's like, you know, we know she, we know the whole deal. I mean, we know she didn't marry him for love. That's okay. You know, it's fine. It's her thing, whatever. But I don't think she's like some like crazy, oh, poor innocent woman, victim of this horrible man. I think she's, in a different way, she's also guilty. You know, she's not corrupt, obviously. She's, She's just a lady, you know, she's ladies who lunch, but at the same time, if he is a government employee and his wife is spending US government money, then I think it's our problem too, okay? Like imagine if Michelle Obama was like, I mean, I can't, I can't even, let's not even get started. Let's not even get started on the double standards, okay? Let's not even get started on this. By the way, it was Michelle Obama's birthday this week. Okay, anyway, so, okay, let's think here, when will, Jared Kushner's indictment come out. Two cards. 
Okay, so here we have, this is a card 34, this is a card 31. So 34 per, plus 31, that's uh, 65 days. Hmm. I wish it was gonna come out sooner. 65 days for Jared Kushner. Can I, can I wish it was like two weeks. Hmm. Or like maybe it's like 65 hours. It'd be nice if it was like 65 hours. Yeah. 65 hours. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's do the okay. I'm trying to think. Okay, let's see. Let's find a yeah. Let's see. Okay, 65. Let, uh, just another method, okay, of timing. So this method of timing, I'll do it like I did with a death, like the other day with a death card. Let's find a card letter. Is the letter card is a little card for indictment. So I'm gonna shuffle it and see where it where it shows. And I'm gonna let's do week by week. Okay, so then each week, and then it's kind of roughly tell us how many weeks away. Okay, so letter. So I'm gonna shuffle everything, and however many weeks, each card is a week. So however many weeks are before or until then, that's how many weeks is gonna and how many weeks is gonna come out. Okay, so tell us when Jared Kushner's indictment is going to come out. Please tell us when his indictment is gonna come out. Please tell us when Jared Kushner's indictment is gonna come out. Please tell us when Jared Kushner's indictment is gonna come out. Please tell us when Jared Kushner's indictment is gonna come out. Okay, so one, no, two, I'm just gonna put here two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. Oh no, it's too long, maybe 13 days, guys. 13 days could be 13 days. What if like, cause I hope 13 days would be like two weeks. If it's a the count of 13, that would be like 13, 13 days guys. It would be, it would be cool. Right? So that would be like what? There'll be Friday, not this Friday, but the next, that makes sense. Right. It, that could be 16 days. That would be cool. But you know what? It, like I said, this is just an experimental thing. I don't think you guys should, we should like count on it. Okay. All right, it's just a, uh, it's just like, yeah, it's just a way to like, to count, you know, just a different way to count something. That was just, a way. okay, so let's now go back to the question. I think, you know, I think the Nikki Haley question would be kind of fun to do, but I think the most important thing, do, do you guys prefer the Nikki Haley question or the question about, um, what is it? The, I think the Mueller investigation and the, the government shutdown is more important, don't you think? I think that's more pre, like more pressing, right? Okay, let's do that. So what's going to happen to the Mueller investigation um, while the government shut down? And what happens? There's going to be two parts. So what's happening while the government's being shut down and once it ends? Okay, so so that is going to give us two two parts, okay? so. What's going to happen to the Mueller investigation as the government shuts down? Like as, you know, throughout this, like, through this process, okay? And what happens after the government shuts down? Okay, so I think here what I'm going to do is, like, I'm going to put, put a center and then three co little columns to the left, which means while. And then three to the right means after. Okay, so we we know that. So what happens to the to the Mueller investigation while the government is shut down, and then after? Okay. So what happens to the Mueller investigation 
while the government is shut down. What happens to the Mueller investigation while the government is shut down and after? What happens to the investigation while the government is shut down and then after? You know what I'm getting, guys? This is like, I'm, I'm not, I haven't looked at the cards yet, and it's like an image. I feel like the whole thing with the government shutdown is actually going to get into, is going to be part of the case for obstruction justice. I feel like ultimately he actually, Bowler actually puts that in as a, as a proof. This is just my intuition, okay? It's, I see the image. Hi, Michelle. So, so anyway, okay. All right, so what happens? Right. Jack is asking, isn't it crazy that they don't realize that they are digging their own graves? I think, you know what, Jack, I think they know. It's almost like, I think I said this one time, like in one reading, it's like, we think it's like, they're really like losing everything to them. It's a war. You know what I mean? It's like, if they don't do this, they're going down. That's the problem, is that there's no escape for them. They're like dying, literally, okay? So they're, they'll do everything they can to survive. Okay, so what's happening to them? So, so this is interesting. This is a card. This card came out like this for Roy Moore. So dark secrets. So they feel happy because they had the dark secrets. They're happy. They're like, hm, bitches, we got you. We know what's up. And this is a card of a tower. Fall, things falling apart. And conversations and meetings about things falling apart. And I'm thinking, you know, guys, I'm thinking here, this is, I feel like lately I've had this, like, I don't want to say obsession, but I feel like a lot of times I see these cards and I'm like, oh, maybe they have recordings, but I think it's just meetings. It's just like probably interviews. So they're, they're happy with, they're happy with uh, the talk with the meetings. They're happy that they have un uncovered dark secrets and these dark secrets are going to lead to an ending. Okay. So that's where they're now. They're happy with the interviews and the, the and where they at, they're at. So let's see here. Um, okay, so, uh, okay, so this is wild, okay, this is wild the investigation, so they're happy, and it seems like there we see a pattern here of happy, they're happy, okay, so this is a boss person, in, or a person in a position of power, 
and this is a country upside down. I've said this before. This is a country or like a family happiness, and the country is upset. And there's elections here. So this is also a card of finances, personal, like small finances. So it could be finances related to the election. Finances related to the election. Um, Lily's, meaning Trump, is trying to avoid an ending. He's trying to avoid, he's doing everything he can to avert his own death. This is an interesting card of the past. So because they look into his past, now that they look into his past, he's desperate, he's trying to avert death. And this is an opportunity for them to offer. I think this is an opportunity. Okay, Qu opportunity, quietly, opportunity in isolation on the down low. And it's interesting. This is a blonde man in the White House. Now, I don't know. I wonder who this might be. Because um, I don't think this is Trump. Because Trump is always upside down, okay? And... Uh, I wonder if it's like, it could be John Kelly or, or Mike Pence or somebody. And I feel like, I wonder who that is. It's, it's an emotional man in the White House. I don't think it's Trump because it's, it's balanced. And I, you know, I wonder if it's, it's, it could be Kushner. Kushner is not blonde, but it, it could be like, kind of like an emotional man. It could be him, I wonder. Okay. Now looking at this together, this part we see finances related to the election, looking into the past of Trump. And he's trying to, he's trying to stop the investigation from looking into his past, but it's not working. Okay. And then he made, they made an offer to the White House. And I feel like, you know what, it's something like, remember how there was a conversation the other day <clears throat> about Trump meeting with Mueller? I feel like here, what it's saying, you know, what it really is saying is that, um, I feel like finances related to Trump opportunities. So I feel like, they saw they found they either found the opportunities presented to Trump for and the finances related to Trump. Okay. And uh, this is like looking into the election. This is a, also the past. Okay. So looking at the past and how the Trump's past affected the election and the uh, and the White House. Okay. And that's the when. This is a question of when while this whole thing is happening okay so again just to remind you guys that at the center it said they're happy because they found dark secrets and everything is coming upside down over the tower so everything is coming crushing down for trump okay against trump basically this is a card of a greedy person network this is a star also dream but basically network okay cluster network and this is a world, okay, and shady people, shady dealings. So you know what I feel like? This is kind of great. This is like the worldwide network of shady backroom deals, okay, putting all this together in the context of the Mueller investigation. So it's like the worldwide network of people, greedy people, holding on to money through shady deals. Russian money, okay. And then the powerful network of people behind the scenes who are engaged in corruption. Cynthia asked, do you think Wolf has already spoken to Miller? I don't think, okay, Cynthia, let's, let me focus on this, okay, this part, and then we'll see. We'll see. Okay, one sec. So, so here, 
we have yeah corruption russian corruption and the people behind the russian corruption and here we have offers you know what i think this is like i think this is like bribery or like the offers that they made financial offers and this is the loyalists to, because it's right next to russia so the russian loyalists made offers this is a card of manipulation and secret okay so let me put this together now so we have the network of greedy people who are engaging in shady dealings all over the world we have russian money and we have the hierophant which is the card of like the illuminati or uh, people behind the scenes the corrupt group of influential people related to russia okay and here is the secret loyalists okay so together it's it shows like i said the network of shady dealings people do engaging shady dealings behind the scenes the russia network shady dealings behind the scenes that are corrupt and secret okay so i'm trying to get it together here um basically the network of russian loyalists okay of people who are loyal to russia on top at the bottom, we have shady dealings behind the scenes in the me in the name of corruption that are secret. So very secret things, very corrupt secret things related to Russian money and shady covert manipulation. So that's what it finds after. Okay, that's what I think, and not what it finds, but what it becomes public. Because if we think about, if we think about the role or like how how the cards operate they basically reveal something to us right so when something comes up it means that it's going to be revealed right so revealing is part of it so essentially what i think like just a summary now at the beginning or while the government is, is being shut down um there's discovery of financial dealings related to the election there's a look into trump's past and his financial dealings. And there's an offer to the White House of some sort. Okay. Now, um, they're happy, uh, the investigation is happy that they have so much stuff, like like really dark secrets that are going to, bur to bring him to the ground. Okay. Um, and, uh, and then, and I feel like guys, I just wanna show you this again and I'm getting this feeling and maybe I'm wrong, it's just conversation, I feel like this could be interviews, but you know what? I, I really get this strong feeling that they have recordings of some sort. This is conversations. They're happy because underneath you have tower because the tower is a card of destruction. So like conversations wouldn't necessarily lead to destruction, but recordings could. So I'm, maybe I'm like obsessed about this idea that there's a, there are recordings, but I feel like there are tapes lordy, right? The whole thing. Anyway, so then here and then after, or maybe right after or after this, this ends, there's a revelation of the network of people doing shady dealings all over the world. And, uh, and then Russian money, corrupt Russian money, the people, and I feel like here, the Eurofund, it's, it could be, Amer you know what I'm feeling guys? I'm having a strong feeling here that this is like, so the, the Eurofund is, is not upside down. So, what I feel this tells me is that these are a lot like, like upstanding citizens. These are not the people that we think they are. It's like a dark, it's like a, it's, it's like a people that you think are like, oh, they're like, and I feel like, I almost feel like it's the cock brothers. It's people who have businesses who are like, you don't think that they are criminals, but they are. Okay. That's what I get here is because it's, it's showing you very clearly in many, in many ways that it's a secret network of people and it's a network it's not just one person they're going to reveal the network of a shady dealings all over the world related to money b and i feel like here because it's greedy you have the greedy card i feel like it's the money laundering part okay it's where they stash the money and here 
because you have the Russian money and the corruption. So I feel like how, uh, how upstanding citizens help corrupt Russian money. And here we have the offers from the loyal, secret offers from the loyalists and their shady like things in secret. So it's many cards that, that say A, network, and B, secret behind the scenes. Okay, several. So, so after the government shuts down, there will be the revelation of the network of people who were loyal to Russia, engaged in shady dealings all over the world, and he helped wash, I think really wash money in corrupt ways, and all of this in secret means. And I think also the book, if we look at the book, there are several meanings of the book. And I think for some reason, because there are so many cards related to money, I feel like the book here also means ledger, accounting. You know what I mean? The books, the book in terms of books, books, accounting books, because it's like, um, this is manipulation and lying. So I feel like cooked books, you know what I mean? In the, in the accounting, in accounting terms, in terms of like, they find out how the accounting system operates or like how the, you know, the ledgers work or whatever. Okay. So, so that's what I feel like. Okay. I feel like they, they give us a, you know what I feel like the image is like, you know, those little mice networks, you know what I'm talking about? I, maybe I'm imagining like, it's like those little labyrinths for, for pet mice, you know, like little, like, like my, uh, mazes, that's the word, right? Mazes. So they, they show us the mazes that they go through and the, the labyrinths and the way that they did the things they do to hide it. Okay. Because if we go from point A, the left part of the reading, which is the finance money related to Trump to, to, to point B, which is the network. It's like they, they basically trace A, the election money that went to Trump, and then B, how that election money is funneled through all these like, like normal seeming individuals. Okay, so that's that, that's interesting. Okay, so I thought this was kind of kind of great. Um, all right, so yeah, this is, yeah, right? I feel like, and, and I kind of love doing these videos, guys, because I feel like sometimes I'm like, it's so detailed, like how, how the hell it's like so specific, right? I feel like it's, it's, I think we know already, right? These things are there, but I think articulating it kind of helps in a weird way to like make it more tangible or more real or something, or like, I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of like, I don't know. I feel like I'll learn how, how, how all these things are entangled. Okay. And I almost feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, as I'm like, unplug, you know, doing these things, I feel like I see this, you know what I feel like? Maybe I hear somebody, but I feel like some, the explanation is like, they have these sh shadow banking systems. That's what it is. It's like sh shady shadow ways of laundering my financial money. Okay. Of like their own money because the whole, especially with the Magnitsky, Magnitsky Act, the challenge really is how are they going to move their money around? Because if they can't use the money, right, how are they going to get it together? And I feel like, oh my God, guys, oh my God, God, God protect me from this, what I'm going to say. And I don't mean to, you know, if you're like a weird, shady person watching this video, I'm just uh, the messenger. Okay. I don't, I'm just like a random person reading cards, but like, Okay, I'm going to say this sounds like kind of dark and like, I'm like, oh, I hope nobody kills, kills me or whatever. But I feel like, okay, just this is like entertainment. This is not truth or whatever. I feel like they discovered that how the Russian mafia is in control of money laundering in the world. Like how they really, how they really um, have this shadow banking system and that a lot of criminal enterprises use them to launder their money. They just take a big cut out of it. That's what I feel like. They see the whole picture, the whole worldwide picture. And it's almost like it is a shadow way of like laundering. Like how, mo how money laundering is a, is a huge corporation. That's how I see. Okay, this is just guy intuition. This is how, how I see, I interpret the left side, the right side, and then the image in my mind is like, oh, that's it. They put it all together. Okay, like, yeah, but Jen is saying great start. We had a metaphor, but it's not just the metaphor. It's like, once they start tracing the money, they realize, like they they cut they understand the maze, and the maze is like is this system, you know, that is like 
that is very fluid and works well. You know what I mean? Like in a way it's like, how can they, it's like a pair, like I said, a parallel banking system that allows people to launder money, to turn money. That's like, and that's why, you know, this whole like inflation of real estate prices and all those things. It's like, it's not just real estate. I think it's also finance. Okay. It's also the, the whole, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to even get into it, but the whole Bitcoin thing, for example, I think I've never looked into it, but I think it's definitely related to that. Okay. Because I work, actually I worked in bank and like in a couple of banks for like a few years. I never worked in money laundering, but I were, it doesn't matter what I was doing there, but like, it's like, um, yeah, I remember reading a little bit about money laundering and it's all like, it's all about identifying who's buying what and who's transferring the money. Okay. And so, and so digital currencies are a perfect way to do that. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a perfect way to like not identify where the money comes from and to like, you know, to do that. And there's like the bots, they, they kind of like, manip there was like all, there was an article recently about how bots manipulate the pricing of certain currencies. Like that's, you know, and if you think about how great Russians are at mathematical aspects of programming, like they're not great at like a lot of creative stuff, but they're great at math. So they are perfect for not just for understanding how money flows, but also how to create programming systems that assist that goal. Okay, so that's another thing. Anyway, I feel like, you know, sorry if you're like out there from the Russian mafia, watching this video is just, I'm just intuitive and I, whatever, read cards and it's not personal. Okay. Whatever. Anyway. So, um, so, okay guys. So, um, all right. So next before, so it's 81 minutes guys. Okay. 81 minutes. Uh, Lucien said Trump is mafia. Yes. I, you know what I feel like Lucien basically, you know, the card that's shown here, the card that had been appearing, I show you very quickly that I think basically shows the whole thing is that here's the card the tree the card of the tree explains it i think in a way it's a he's part he's a branch of a tree okay so basically that's it he's not just one he's not i feel like in a way trump is relatively minor he's not the main actor he's a he's a soldier like they say right He's the guy who's like, does the work for them. Like he's not determining what's going to be done. He follows the orders. So he's part of the tree. Okay. All right. So going back here. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. He's just, he's literally a fool. He's like the person, you know, what was the word? They used, they used to have this in the, in the, the courts, in the aristocratic courts. The jester. He's a jester. Okay. He's like, ha ha ha. Let's make people laugh while the crimes go on behind the scenes. Okay. But at the same time, he's not just a joker. He does get money from it. He's not just a, you know. All right. So, all right, guys. So now that we have done the dark stuff. That was pretty intense. I feel like, I feel like we're, we're running our own. And I feel like guys, I'm, I feel like we're like psychic detectives or something like that. That'd be fun, right? Psychic detectives. Uh, Cynthia used to say, Cynthia told me, what, I never, I don't know if I responded to her because I was like, oh my God, Cynthia's just crazy. She was like, because I think I said it one in one time because I love crime shows. And I was, she was like, we should, you should like work for like the FBI or something. I'm like, I feel like they need facts, you know what I mean? Like, because this stuff is like, is useless. I mean, it's nice to tell the story, but it's not like I have the actual documents or something, you know? That'll be fun, sounds fun, but I think it's it's harder than that. Yeah. So, okay guys, so, um, all right. So let's look at some fun stuff that we can laugh. Let's laugh, I mean, we need to laugh. Let's look at Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley, oh my God, you know, I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking of like, yeah, no, Cynthia is exactly I'm like, you know, psychic detectives or whatever. So, so, okay, guys, what about Nikki Haley? You know, I, it's, your, it's like a marriage between Cheeto and beef jerky. I don't know. Nikki Haley, she's supposedly having an affair with Trump. Oh my God. That woman to me, she's just so transparent. Like she's like the ambitious, like over, like evil overachiever. Like she wants to be head of like the, you know, soror sorority or whatever whatever she wants to do. I don't know. She's like, 
she is such an idiot. Oh, people don't like that one. Anyway, so so we can do that. Is she having? Do you guys want to do the question about is she having an affair with Trump? Should we ask that what's going on? Basically, like what's going on with her? And then is she having an? Oh my God. Okay. Who? What is up with her? Yeah. Yeah. No. No, Jen. So so today it came out. They showed the paragraph, and I remember reading. I was like, oh, interesting. What does that mean? Because she's not his type. You know. Oh my God. Christ. Oh my God. Did you see guys? Terry Thomas say, uh, you know what else? She really is trying to take quite exactly. He's like, this is a great evening. You know, the women are out there, you know, really saying my, my government is great. They love it. They're so happy with my government. It's a great day. It's like, dude, get real. You know, he's trying to like steal the thunder or whatever. Like, oh no, it's, it's about me. It has to be about me. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, so oh my god, guys. So Nikki Haley, I wanna be a president too. I think you know she really wants supposedly she wants to be president, you know, yeah, exactly, too brown, exactly. And she's not like a porn person, you know. She's like, you know, he's probably like, you know, you're really not attractive enough for me. Can you get a breast can you just take a vacation, get breast implants? You know, or whatever, like yeah, no. You know, guys, you know what I noticed? know why? Like, I was, like, kind of, like, I thought I never liked her from the beginning. Because, like, people said, oh, you know, how she took sides with the women, something, whatever. And I was, like, no, because I noticed bots. There are too many bots pushing her. When you would, when I would say something, like, I forgot who, like, you would say, oh, I love Kamala Harris. And then there would be people saying, oh, no, you know who was really great? Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley. No, Nikki Haley is, is garbage. Nikki. Haley wants to be a president, but she's garbage. She's beef jerky. She's garbage beef jerky. I feel like she's so, yeah, she's like, she's just like beef jerky wants to be a president. She went to the UN and yelled at people. Nobody came to her party. You know how she invited people? She yelled at people and then she invited them to a party, like a cupcake party or something. Like nobody came. Like who is gonna come hang out with that woman? I really want. I want to go over there and talk to Nikki Haley. She's a great woman. Nobody, nobody said that. She's like an idiot. Because actually, for the most part, I think working as a diplomat is complicated. It's, you have to be educated. It's not you don't just show up and like you're gonna do whatever I want because I want those shoes. You're gonna go get them to me, okay? Whatever. I don't talk to you. Like you know what I mean? You have to like actually. She's like, you bitches need to do what I want, okay? And it's like, no, it's the government, okay? Like, you know what I mean? She's like, I am the head cheerleader or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? She's just so annoying. She's just like, like, oh, my God. Like, you, and, and her attitude is just so, like, it's so imperfect. It's like, I am, like, the head, you know, I'm, like, the popular woman. Like, you follow me or whatever. Like, hmm, you know, like, whatever. Like. I don't know. It's so annoying. She's so annoying. Whatever. So let's see this bitch, you know, what's going to happen to her. Whatever. <laughs> you think, yeah. She's like, okay, let's see what's up. What's up with her? Is she having an affair with Trump? Who is Nikki Haley and what's going to happen to her? Um, you know, guys, you know what I'm thinking? Okay, this is, I'm closing my eyes now. Exactly. Exactly. Lucien said, like Ivanka, Ivanka trying to no job women in America. Like, yeah, whatever. Exactly. Like, she's like, all you have to do, I did it, everybody did it, you have to sleep with him, okay? If you were in my position, wouldn't you sleep with him if you could be president, okay? Well, look at, look at him, he's dumb, I'm dumb, so we could be, I could be president, why not, okay? Like, that's how she thinks, or whatever, okay? So, so um, anyway, so Michelle said power corrupts, but I think honestly, in terms of the Trump administration, you have to already be corrupt. Like, you can't work for Trump if you're, like, a normal person. You have to be corrupt because the whole thing is corruption, the entire, like, it's not like there's a beginning. It's, like, it's already, that's the essence of it. You cannot be a normal person and work there. You know? No. So, okay, so let's see what's up. Oh, this is what I was going to say. I'm closing my eyes here, and I'm shuffling, and I'm like, you know what? She's involved in this. There's going to be a consequence for her because, basically, 
I feel like, you know how the whole thing, there was like some sort of Israeli vote or something and like Jared Kushner was involved. I feel like there's something there where she's, she follows the lead and she, there's something, I feel like, okay, I get, I got the, uh, the reminder session time limit, you know, and you have 30 minutes left. So, so, okay. Not right now. So anyway, so, so that's okay. So anyway, so I think there's 30 minutes left. I think that that's enough time. So anyway, so, so let's see. So anyway, I feel like she's involved in this somehow. Okay, guys. So let me, I'm going to do this. Who is, what's up with her? And will she be indicted? Like, will she suffer consequences for in them? What will happen to her after the Mueller investigation? And then what happens to her political career after? So A, wh who is Nikki Haley? What is up with her? Is she having an affair with Trump? A, B, what happens to her as a concept, like through the Mueller invest, because of the Mueller investigation? And then C, what happens to her political career after the Mueller investigation and the Trump presidency, after the Trump presidency and the Mueller presidency? Okay, so, so that's it. But Lucien said, Nick is, so, but you know, guys, I'm going to say something horrible. I'm sorry, God, you know, sorry, viewers for saying this, like dirty things or whatever. But I feel like, look, what is the relationship with Trump? Like, it's a sexual, it's like, basically, she gives him blowjobs. Like, do you think like anything else is going to happen? No, he's like out there. He's out there, like, like giving, you know, eating hamburgers or whatever. Like, that's it. That's the relationship. That's like what it means to like each other. Like, she has a mechanical job. That's, that's it. Okay. So, Nikki Haley and what's up with Nikki Haley and the Mueller investigation? Yeah. yeah, no, guys. I mean, I'm sorry to be so graphic. It's kind of gross to say, but I feel like seriously, like, what kind of do you think Trump really wants to talk to? Like, he sees women as like you know objects all the time. He's not gonna talk to her. So he's just like, oh, she's like, maybe there's something I could do for you to make you feel better. You know, it's like. Well, if you ever need something, call me, okay? Whatever, like, please. Hmm. Okay. Exactly. Melania probably pays her. Dog sitter. Sorry. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's like, hello, Nikki, this is Melania. Hello, thank you so much for doing the job for me. I'm so happy I don't have to do it so much. And it will hurt my knee. So I'm going to thank you so much. I'm so happy I heard it. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, I have a great hairdresser. You need, girl, you need to, to do your hair a little bit. Okay? Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Ivanka, yeah, oh my god, oh my god, like guys, okay, it's like because you know the level is so low, also because of this. But like, hello, did you see the thing about the the storm, Daniels? She would spank him with a, with a what is it called? Forbes magazine. Oh my god, so gross, so gross. That's the love. That's the president. Can you imagine? It's the president. Oh my god. Yeah, a bit far out here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Crazy. A bit far out here. Okay, I don't I'm sorry, but I feel like I don't want to offend anybody. I'm gonna stop my, my thing. Okay. So all right, okay. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so 
Ooh, look, heart. And the crazy man. She loves the crazy man. Mm hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Ooh, she's a snake. And there's Ivanka. Woo. Mm. Mm hmm. Crazy man again. Woo. Obstruction. Mm. Okay. Oh, look at the last card. Oh, my God, look. Wait, Catherine, Mike, what was the cryptic message I left you? I don't know what that means. Anyway, so, so guys, the last card. I'm so sorry, Nikki Haley. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm going to miss her so much when she's gone. Oh, my God. <sighs> Beef jerky got cut. Beef jerky not going to be president. <laughs> Beef jerky. Goodbye. Beef jerky. Say goodbye to the government. Oh my God. Oh my God. Beef jerky. Goodbye. Oh my God. Oh my God. Beef jerky. Yeah, that's who she is. Beef jerky. And she's like, oh my God, guys, you know, I just thought of a great idea. This is so great. The chorus of dried raisins from the White House. Oh my God, that would be great. It's a, it's a Kellyanne Conway, Nikki Haley. And who else? It has to be somebody. Oh my God. She's like, we have math in the basement. That's how we get dried up. We have math in the basement. That's how we get dried up. Anyway, so Hope Hicks, Hope Hicks is so beautiful though. It's like hard to, you know, she's so, it's like shocking. You know, she's very beautiful. I feel like I can, you know, in terms of looks or whatever, but like, she's just, she's like a Barbie or whatever, you know, and I feel like it's just, I'm being mean. It's like, I guess, uh, I guess. Okay. So, okay. So let's now I'm going to concentrate because I wanted to like, you know, get some laughs or whatever, have some laughs. So it's weird. Like there's a man, I feel like this is a man. There's another two, you know, I wonder who, who does she work for? Does she, this, this could be, if this could be, what's the name? of that guy Tillerson I don't know if she there's another man here not just Trump okay she might actually like someone else I have a feeling it's interesting because you have Trump here exactly Michelle asked you said there were people who knew Russian operatives or something but they were afraid to say something any credible links, info to support? What do you mean? What do you mean, Michelle? What's your question? I don't understand your question. Anyway, so this is obstruction by the crazy man. Secret obstruction, secret problems. I'm trying to create obstruction, secret obstruction, and create wins for their network. So I think maybe her role is to create these obstructions. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Sorry. All right, so, okay, so secret, it's interesting, secret obstructions, okay and winning for their network. I think that's I think that's basically her job is to create ob obstructions in the UN probably. Okay, and so all right. And this is financial opportunity. Okay. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um somebody asked a question here. Let's see. So, okay. Someone asked see here if i could do a reading on uk politics catherine asked 
I can do a reading on, on UK politics, Catherine, but just because lately, I could do it maybe towards midweek, like, you know, because uh, what happens is, is now is like, we're kind of trying to, I feel like lately, even though I, I do so many readings and every video, I do so many readings, what, ha what ends up happening is that I deal with the most pressing, the latest news, basically, and what most people want to hear about. I feel like I could add Brexit to to that to the question, but I think it's also you would be interesting for you to add to like elaborate more because Brexit is very broad. So either you ask me like, well, you know, will Brexit gonna is going to ha like I just need a little bit more specific specificity to make it, you know. But I guess I could ask just like. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, I feel like it, toward, anyway, towards midweek, I think I could do that. Like when, you know, when the next, the week comes, then there's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I could add that, that would be interesting. So anyway, so this is the offers of money, financial offers. And she's happy with this man. I mean, I'm interested to see who this man is, if it's Trump or somebody else, okay? And this is happiness, family happiness behind the scenes. So you know what? Maybe she is cheating. It's like it could also mean that she's cheating because there's a happy family, but she's going behind their backs in some way. It could also be the country. We'll look into it more. Oh my God! No, Pence is gay. Pence is gay, and I think she's too abrasive for Pence. For Pence. Okay, so so this is money offers related to a lot of money, and she's happy to be with his aggressive crazy man she may she might be in love you know what i think guys if it's possible she's kind of like obsessed about she might be in love with trump and like he's she might feel like i feel like she's narcissistic too so she's like seeing it as an opportunity for herself she's like if it did it if he did it i can do it too that's kind of how i feel like she sees it okay so anyway so this is like she's happy with the money that comes through shady dealings or behind the scenes i feel like there's offers of money and she, or she takes offers of money because here you have the offer. She is probably, she either makes offers of money. I think she probably takes off, offer, off, oh my God, offers of money. Okay. And this is a emperor, uh, abusive power and a child. Now this is interesting because we'll see if she's in, you know, what, what it means here. If she, She's a new player. It could be that she's a new player. She's a new soldier. And I think here is a, this is the blonde lady. And you, oh, you know, guys, this is what I remember now. You know how, how the book, book said that Ivanka was the one who brought Nikki Haley into the fray. Like she wanted, I feel like she, when a way she works for Ivanka, like she tells there's something about her being, a, she's a double agent. Everybody pretty much is a double agent. So, um, so, so that's it. Okay. And just, um, uh, Catherine said here something, you know what, like, uh, uh Catherine's saying something she wants to, to do a reading on Brexit, but I think there's an, uh, one interesting kind of, just to finish this thing about the Brexit and then go into this other reading, but like Brexit, there's a connection between Cambridge Analytica and Brexit. And I haven't done, you know what? I haven't done, let, let's think about this, Catherine. This is a better, I like doing these readings that are about one chunk of a subject because then you can get more details. So I think, Catherine, I'm going to do a reading on Cambridge Analytica and Brexit, okay? Because that leads to something else, okay? So that's it. Like, I think that's interesting. Anyway, so here is, is like in the middle of the night, Come sight. And you know what? This this configuration has happened before. I feel like very unexpectedly she will be removed. Okay. Now okay, here it's interesting because I think the child and the snake. I feel like she is an, the child doesn't just mean children, it also means a beginner, it means somebody who, yeah, is a beginner or a new plan or new project. So the new prod, it's like, I feel like she's the new snake in town or something, or she is a snake. Um, this news, the new snake in town gets cut. 
you know, I almost feel like here she it's almost like she wants because she's right. This is the abuse of power and probably Trump. So she thinks like she's his child in some way, like she's his pet project and she's a snake. Right. So it's like the new soldier, the new snake gets cut. OK, uh, fine. It comes like I think she definitely gets cut, gets cut. So. Um, so that's the new problem, the new direction. OK, she. Yeah, I think. OK, so she gets cut. Now let's look at the other. OK, now let's just because now we have what? Oh, my God, there's 15 minutes. Left, so let's see here what happens to her as a consequence of the Mueller investigation. Hmm. So <clears throat> this is a full new beginning. Okay, news. So there's a new beginning and there's new news of a new beginning, basically. This could be her, like the false, the false, um, it's like the angry, not angry, kind of sort of like her, like she is like fury, aggressive woman related to the election. I, I you know, I wonder what she was doing before. I wonder, I don't know what she was doing before, but it could be a new beginning related to the election and somehow she could be involved in something related to the election. I don't know. Okay. This is a, and this is a empress upside down. And I think a lot of times it's just the country, especially in the reading like this. I don't think it's her necessarily. It could be her, but it's like there's a man here. So it's, but since the main cards are, are on top, I feel like it's like news about the man who turned the country upside down. I think that that's what it makes more sense. Okay. And this is justice and corruption. So justice finds corruption. So news, news from a man about corruption and corruption related to the election. Okay, and so interesting because it doesn't say, I don't think that it necessarily indicates, like either, you know, unless she was herself involved with aspects of the election, I don't know what she was doing before, okay. Um, and so, okay, Ooh. okay, will she get, will she be indicted? Okay, what happened to her? Like, will she be indicted? She'll be indicted. And then what happens to her political career thereafter? Yeah. Sorry guys, I have to try to rush because there's 12 minutes left. So I don't, I don't like to rush normally, but I'm gonna just go talk, okay? All right, so this is judgment, okay? Judgment, a deal. I don't think she cut, gets a deal, but I think it has a role here because it says she's guilty. Okay, so and this is a person who doesn't give up, is in a battle, public, and the battle becomes public, or there's something related to the public network also. There's a public deal. And a victory to the to a reputation or like how recognition. But bad news, she's guilty. Oh, I'm sorry, Nikki. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry.
I feel like honestly, guys, this is not necessarily conclusive, okay, in a way, because I feel like this this could mean basically, because I'm thinking this this guilty card here is strange. It's okay. I asked if she's gonna be indicted or whatever's gonna happen to her. And I feel like for some reason, I don't believe she's gonna if you could say, well, this is a deal, right? But the it's a public. So the deal. I, you know what I feel like this tells the story. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. I wonder if she's gonna. But the, you know, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. It's like she made a deal to change the U.S. perception, the U, the perception of the U.S. in the world. That's what I think it is. Okay, because you have the the public card would be antithetical to the idea of a deal. You know what I mean? So if you make a deal, it's not public. So when you have the, the card of public here, I think it may indicate that actually um, it's like she had a deal to, to change something about the U.S., like the U.S., um, the U.S. reputation in public, and that makes her guilty. I think ultimately that's, that's what it could be, okay? Um, and... Um, yeah, I, I mean, it could be, could go, I really, for some reason, I am not getting, and I could be wrong, I am not getting the feeling that she's going to get away with it. Uh, uh, how do you say it? She's going to just get away unscathed, okay? Because, so I asked, like, what happens to her after, and the first card, you know, that what happens to her political career after, and you have this ch changes and an ending. So her career, her political career ends pretty much, okay, after. And then you have negative, another negative card. What was it? Oh, here. Uh, yeah. Oh, look. Perfect. An ending. Painful ending. Another card of pain. Painful ending twice. That's bad. Okay, so... So here you have a painful ending again, painful ending twice because you have the tarot, painful ending, painful ending, and it changes for her. No, Patty Joe, she's like, I know, I think it's like, it's really dark, like the whole thing with Trump, like, no, it's really bad for her, I think, you know, for everybody involved, I think. Okay, and then, and then per, like money, money problems, money, wrong money and time like permanent ending and i almost like i'm like whoa does she go to i don't know i i can't tell honestly this things but permanent ending to her political career and she you know what i think she i wonder if she might leave because this is a card of travel she's going to try to leave or something the u.s because uh, it could also be russia but like because she, it's a card of relic relocation anchor and and the ship together, it means, uh, what's the word? When a person picks up and leaves and goes, not just move, but like start your life over somewhere else. Okay. So I feel like that's it. I feel like for her, she may have to, and I feel, I honestly, I, I, I have a feeling, I wonder if she's going to leave the country. She's going to relocate permanently somewhere else. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what. And uh, I don't know what will be the outcome. Okay, here, because here you see, this is the question about, and this is the for, first part, painful ending twice, right? Painful ending, painful ending, tarot, painful ending, changes and like permanent ending could also be an ending to stability but either way it's a it's an ending if it's an ending to, to stability it's even worse than just an ending so it's like relocation abroad painful travel okay painful trip aggressive relationship with foreign countries okay so so that's it it ends badly for her yeah, Alcatraz, that'll be amazing. Sorry, Nikki Haley, life is over. Sorry, Nikki Haley, here's your airplane. 
federal prison is waiting. Make sure you pack shoes with no shoelaces. Make sure you pack. Oh my God. So anyway, guys, so that's it. That's it for Nikki Haley. Whoa, that was like a lot, you know. Um, that's it. That's it. I wonder, I mean, I wonder, if, you know, if she could, I, and I, you know, guys, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what happens, you know, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, Interpol exists. It'll be interesting to see what happens, you know, at the end, like, do these people actually go to jail? What happens? You know what I mean? What happens? We don't know. It's very interesting to see and to go back. And I wonder, you know, if I'll come back and be like, oh, this happened to this person. This did not happen to that person. And in a way, like when people say, like I said, you know, in a way, this is, it is, okay, supposedly whatever prediction, but I, I enjoy this story, like us telling stories to each other in a way, because I feel like if anything, it's a distraction, right? In a good way. It's like, we can imagine that justice could happen. It could, we could happen. We could imagine that. What is this story? Like we connected, you know what I mean? That we connect the story. So I almost like when people say, oh, prediction, I'm like, I almost don't even care that it is like a prediction because I feel like, oh no, it's a story, it's a storytelling, almost like a, not a storytelling workshop, but you know, something like that. Like it's a way to like understand what's happening. Okay. Because like the narrative that we see in the press is terrible. I mean, even the press that's against Trump, it still seems to be like, there's just too much information coming out so much, you know, exactly. There's just in the store. Exactly. Oh, uh, Barbara brings a dream weaving. Yeah. Barbara, she had such an interesting in insight. I don't know what her background is. She's saying like, she thinks that our group is like, is like a group of people kind of putting together. The, it's sort of like a, a psych, a, there's like a, the system of like family. I forgot what it's called, but basically people come together and create the story. There's like an unconscious connection that we all understand the story and we kind of help put it together, you know? And so that's what's, that's, what's cool about it. And I feel like we really, and guys, you know, honestly, I always believe this, but I feel like this whole thing with Trump has made me believe this more that we really do create a degree of reality. And I think us just even imagine that it's possible that justice will happen is hugely, like hugely, hugely like important. Okay. Family reconstruction, Virginia site. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look into it because actually, I have. I think I know someone who does this, so it's it's very interesting. So um, yeah, it's like a kind of a kind of a magical way of understanding, manifesting these things. Okay, because I feel like it's so interesting because I and I um, one day I'll tell you more about some other research I've done. But basically, I know that they their whole thing, and especially social media, is like they were. Oh, interesting. Riveting was done as fast. Yeah, it's interesting that, you know, this whole propaganda thing, especially the Russians and the Cambridge Analytica people, they know that the whole thing is about creating this false messaging. They want to, to con I don't say I sound like a conspiracy theory, but it's true. They want to control the minds and the, and the, the, the speech of people, you know, how, what's being talked about. So they, they, they put out so much information that people start talking about these, these stupid things that don't exist, like Pizzagate and so forth. So when we create the other narrative, it's amazing because like we really say, no, there's justice. Justice is real. Democracy is real. And it's going to, you know, this is going to come to an end and we're going to win in the end because it's about us. We, the people, not them, not their bullshit. Okay. So, so that's that, you know, I think I do believe, and I feel like sometimes, as you know, I've, I've talked about this before. It's not like I'm like, I, you know, I look at other people. I, 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 I love Daniel Agnew because I feel like she helps with like be, being positive in this moment. But I really believe guys, like there's something there, you know, that we could change. Like, you know, even if it's just, even if it's, I feel like after the readings, I'm like energized, even though, yes, Denise, I like Daniel Agnew. It's like, even though, even though, yes, it is tiring. And sometimes I feel like I can't do it for many days, like on a row, you know, but I think it's very helpful because I feel like I could be spending not to say that, oh my God, guys, this is going to run in 30 seconds. I'm going to say goodbye. But it's not to say that it's not enjoyable. It is very enjoyable, very, very enjoyable. But I think the thing is that for me, like I said, I could be thinking about how, how horrible Trump is, but instead we're looking at how justice is going to happen. 
you know, how, how all these amazing things are going to happen. Like justice is going to happen. We know that now, you know, all this, like, there's going to be a positive outcome. Okay, guys. All right. So I have, you know, it's, it's running out. There's 10 seconds left, but thank you guys for everything. All right. And I'll see you soon. Very soon. Some of you I'll see tomorrow. Then if